about different contexts and different level of context that we discuss in this lecture. That sounds good. See you next week. See you next week. Thank you very much for your engagement. Okay, thank you so much, Catherine. Thank you so much, Peter. See you next week. Bye bye. Okay, let me out. Hello everyone, hi, should I say welcome? <laughs> welcome to this short recordings. I know it's the other days asked me to film some short video about my life now. So let me introduce myself. My name is Lutfi Ismail. You can call me Lutfi. I am one of the Silo University alumni from English Education Department. So I was graduated last year. And I'm currently now doing master's degree at Monash University, Melbourne, Australia. But you know, due to the COVID-19, I couldn't go to Australia just yet. So I'm studying online from Indonesia. So if you want to reach me out, I'm still in Pasik. If you want to meet up, if you want to have a Zoom call with me, just let me know, okay? So in this record, in this short recording, I want to talk about two things because time is very limited. The first one is talking about things I wish I knew in the university uh, and the second one talking about the scholarship tips how to get a scholarship abroad okay so the first one is talking about things I wish I knew in the university so I'm kind of you know regret I didn't do that much stuff you know so the first one is to make just so much co uh, connection make more connection with people you know you can go with uh, you can talk to other friends, you can have more friends from other faculty, from political science, from engineering, from health sciences. Because for me, I really only have friends from a little circle with my classmates, with the same major. And while, uh, once I did uh, the field trip or KKN, I realized that I met with other people from other faculty. They have different views, we can have discussion, they can, we can have, uh, share stories. So. That's really helpful for you. So make more connection with people. It can be students. It can also be with the faculty staff, like lecturer or anyone else. So for example, lecturer, I was back there uh, assisting one of the lecturer. So you can be a lecturer assistant as well, uh, or you can ask lecturer for collaboration. They will really welcome you guys, like paper collaboration, research collaboration. A project collaboration that really uh, welcome you guys so it will be a little helpful for you to expand your connect uh, your what is that your network with people beside your classmates and your major friends okay so the second one is to have non-academic activities yeah trust me it really uh, challenge you because you have responsibility to your academic but you also have responsibility to your non-academic what is that you can be like organization, you can join EDSA, you can join PKM, you can join uh, anything on campus. But for me, uh, I'm really active in off campus. So I did some part-time jobs. I do like uh, radio announcing, so I was a radio announcer. And I do private teaching, you know, to high school students. So I was a tutor back then. So yeah, that, uh, that will uh, strengthen your shop skill, soft skill. Like, uh, management skill, critical thinking skill, uh, what is that, uh, networking, collaboration, and, uh, and etc. Basically, beside your academic stuff, you will have other stuff to do, okay? And you can also have like social project, you can have volunteer, you can have internship, you can have a competition, yeah, basically anything, just to make sure that you once you graduate, you have something on your CV you to make uh, you different from other applicants. Once you getting work or you trying to uh, pursue a scholarship, so it's really helpful to have more beside your academic stuff. Okay, and the second one, let's talk about scholarship uh, tips for me. Yeah, because the time is really limited. I know it's about five minutes, <laughs> so I'm going to share to you guys is basically applying scholarship is the comprehensive like whole things like from the very beginning until the end before you study and until you study in the future after your graduation so for example the first one is about motivation about background why do you want to study abroad like why do you want to pursue master's degree uh, are your bachelor degree 
uh, uh, what is that help you with your uh, work or why do you want to pursue master's degree in this field or in this subject in this major in this university in this country you have to figure figure that out because uh, you know uh, the provider of the scholarship did not uh, give you uh, just uh, fresh money to you guys like to everyone no they will select you from yeah uh, will select potential people you who know uh, contribution to society who knows what they are doing right now knows uh, what they can do in the future after graduation so I think you can figure that out from the earlier like maybe from the sixth semester or maybe you some uh, the other day some junior from like third semester asked me as well about the tips from scholarship so you can do basically preparation for from the very beginning of your university life or later on like for me I prepare my scholarship from sixth semester so I think like oh I think study abroad is cool so I think I'm gonna start to look for the university I look for the requirement I need to look for some activities to boost my profile and etc so that's the first tip and the second tip is to you know embrace with the what is that with the reality you know uh, I want you guys to uh, keep spirit to, to not let down at anything at uh, failures you know I threw many failures uh, actually from the university life until the, to the actual life I threw many failures but I still get up get up get up so in this scholarship context if you are fail in one scholarship it doesn't mean that you can do it in the second time and the third time because from uh, LPDB scholarship they they did not limit how many time you apply but it limit with your age so as long as you uh, under 32 years old you can still apply if you are failed this year try to work first and you have some experience working for two and three years for example or one year and then come back to LPDP try to do selection again so uh, don't get rushed as for me like you know I, I am fresh graduate like after my graduation I apply LPDP but it doesn't mean everyone should be like me you know my other friends like uh, they work like five years and they are PNS you know they are also like professional workers they are still student or oh, as like me for example fresh graduate so it uh, LPDP rain uh, you know embrace uh, everyone as long as they are qualified you know yeah so don't worry just 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 bear it with me just bear with the selection if you try to yeah at least you try you try the selection now if you fail it's okay try next time try next time yeah and then get rushed you have more I had to do like after graduation you start working gain experience make that profile you know I uh, not to be arrogant or anything but as for me I did like a part-time job from like fifth semester so once I graduate I have like two years equivalent of working experience so once I graduate even if I'm a fresh graduate, I have lots of profile on my CV. I have part-time job, I have competition, I have uh, internship, I have social project, I have international conference, I have yeah. So basically, you don't have to rush. Well, if you have uh, if you haven't have something on your uh, profile, so, so you can just work first and then come back to the selection later on after next year. Okay, so I know it's kind of messy. I don't know. And so maybe we'll figure something out about that. Uh, I hope this really helpful for you guys. I don't know what to say because it's really short video. Thank you so much for watching. If you have still have more questions, just read me out on Instagram. It's Lutfi dot is dot smile because my name is Lutfi Smile. So I think. Lutfi is smile. Lutfi that is that smile. Or you can uh, ask Etsa for my WhatsApp. But you know, I rarely talk to strangers. Just let me know who you are, uh, where you came from, and we can have a talk. Or we can have a Zoom meeting. Just reach me out through my social media. Okay. Thank you so much for your attention. See you next year. Uh, <laughs> see you. See you anytime. Like okay. Bye bye.